Hello, my name is Hen Renfrey, and this is a Godot 2D game development tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a character punch and kick. And this tutorial also could be used for helping you create a fighting game. In this tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to make a scripted timer. That is, instead of using these timer nodes that Godot pre-made, I'm going to show you how to use scripted timers. That is, you can create a timer inside of your code. And that's for those who wants to have more control or say so over their timer, or would just rather make their own timer, like me. That's kind of the way I like to have my timer. I, don't, I personally don't like using these nodes right here. I'd rather just have my own timer. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that I did was I set up my scene. I have some sprites right here in my Godot folder, and my Godot folder is on my hard drive desktop. This is a C drive, then you got the user, then you got the uh, my folder, and then you got and then you got the desktop folder inside of that. And here's my folder where I put all my sprites and stuff at. See, that's this folder we just talked about where my sprites are. Okay, so Going back to the Godot scene, first thing that I did was this would have been a node, but I changed it to to kinematic body 2D, doing in this way, and then I clicked the plus button and added animated sprite, and then click create. Then I clicked the plus again and added the camera, and then I turned my current to on. Then after that, I save the scene, save the scene as Henry, and you can just click save. I've already done these things, but this is how you set up your scene. And then I went to project, project settings, hit run, click this folder, and chose my character or scene, or the scene that I'm using in this folder, which is the henryt.tsen, the file we just saved a moment ago. So whenever we start up our game, we'll get this scene right here, which is my character, actually. So then, after that, I set up my animations. So I click this node right here, and then I click New Animation, and then named it Idle, and then I click new anim this paper folder again, and got this, and named it Punch. Then, brought in my animations. Click on idle, click this folder, bring in this one, my idle character. And then you, you click open. And then I click on this the second one, clicked on the folder and brought in my what I'm gonna use for a punch. And then click open. So this is how I got my animations. So then after I have my animations in, I click on the top the kinematic body, the top one, that which controls all this stuff below it. And, and then over here, click went, went to new script. He entered .gd was good, so I clicked it load. So again, these are things that you could do to set up your scene the way I have it. I access my scripts with this icon right here. So the code that I have, this has to extend the kinematic body. You know, it, it extends this node that we renamed Henry right here. So this is our kinematic body, remember? Okay, so we set up three variables. We set up our punch confirm variable. Whenever you press the enter key, the way I have it set up is the enter key, the UI accept key. That's what confirmed that we press that button. So then, after we press that button, it will cause punch timer start to be set to one, or one will set it to true. Once this is set to one, that's when our punch timer starts. Okay, so now in order for your timer clock to start ticking, and in order for anything to move on screen, you have to put all the methods under this func process delta function right here. Okay, so down here it says if we do not press any button, then we'll get our idle animation. But again, if we press the enter button, 
and our punch timer is set to zero, then if we press the enter button, we press this enter button, that again confirms that our punch should start. And then that sets the punch start timer to, to one. And once the punch start timer is set to one, that's when our actual punch timer begins. And then as long as the punch timer is below 10, our character is still punching and his hand will be out. But once it gets to 20, that's what turns this whole process off and our punch process ends until the next time we press the enter button. So that's how this code works. Okay, so let's launch our game and see what happens. Okay, so here's our character. And then whenever I press the enter button, he punches. And all this has happened under 10 seconds because computers count fast. So this is the result we get. And then whenever the timer reaches 20, it turns all this stuff off and his hand goes down. And goes back to the idle animation because the punch is no longer confirmed and that's how you do the punch animation you can use the same process to add other things you can you can go back here and here and you can just you know add in kick then go back to your scripts then add in similar variables just like I have punch confirm, now I got kick confirm. Just like I got punch timer start, now I got kick timer start. Just like I got a uh, punch timer, now I got a kick timer. I just I use the same naming convention. All I did was just change the word punch to kick. So then after that, you go down here under process delta function, just add in the code. Like in as you say, and as you can see. It's similar code too, you know. Um, instead of the enter button, now I'm using the space bar to kick. Instead of punch timer again, I use kick timer. Instead of punch confirm, I use kick confirm. All I did was copy this, paste it down here, and, and again change the word punch to kick. And then I use my kick animation. Okay, so let's start the game again, and now let's see how it works. Okay. So here's our game again. Now we can kick. Same method. You can still punch too. And that's how you do kick and punch animations. And using a scripted timer. Again, you're not using this timer node, but you're creating your own timer so you can have more control over when things occur and stuff. I personally like it that way better. I mean, and that's just personal preference. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>